Hello everyone. Welcome back to our Mole Astrology channel. Now today's video is about the examples of Tribhagi. So I've, I did a video about the introduction on Tribhagi. Now we are going to go with examples. Right? So let me just share my screen. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start with Moon Tribhagi. Right? You people know Tribhagi is dividing um, a Mahadasha into three parts. Three equal or unequal parts, right? Based on whichever Mahadasha is going on, the nakshatras of that particular Mahadasha become active over that period of time when that Mahadasha is going around. Okay, so first of all, I'll start with Moon Tribhagi. So this is an example for Moon Trabhagi. Okay, this is actually a real person's chart. They started their to, uh, Moon Mahadasha in 2019. So first, you need to understand that first, you need to go with the basic predictions for Moon Mahadasha. So Moon Mah in Moon Mahadasha, things happen quickly. A person uh, becomes comfort lover. Although, howsoever that person is, howsoever hardworking the individual is, howsoever, uh, you know, what kind of nature they have, they'll just become very emotional. They'll become dominating. They'll become uh, about a person who wants to possess things they love. It could be luxuries. It could be people they love. Or it could be anything. It's just moon is about the possession, right? Moon wants to possess everything. Moon wants to protect everything. That's why it's that motherly nature that we have, right? Moon in moon uh, Mahadasha, a person's life changes very quickly. So there can be shift of residences or there can be simply travels for an individual. And they always feel the urge to have someone emotionally around them. Okay, so that's the part of moon, right? Now, when Tribhagi is concerned, see, here I discussed in the earlier video, I'll attach the link below. So for Moon Mahadasha, the Tribhagis are for three years and four months. Okay. And all the earth signs get activated. First of all, I'll just quickly explain what Moon is going to activate for this individual. Since this person has Moon in the eighth house in the, in the sign of Aries, that means this person's personality is going to transform big time. Because the first original first house sign is going into the eighth house and it's moon this person is going to go through emotional turmoil because of which their physical personality and their emotional personality is going to transform they can also you know have some sort of uh, head injury or they can have ups and downs within their health also in moon uh, you know moon mahadasha Another thing is that suddenly they'll find the urge to be isolated. They'll be very active in isolation or in their personal space. And somehow they will not be able to sleep properly. Because moon hair is going into the 8th house, the house of darkness. Right? That's why this moon becomes dark. It wants to go deeper into things. It wants to know about astrology. It wants to know about, you know, what is hidden. And since it's the sign of Aries, they want to know about the psychology of people. They want to know about minds of people. Right? And since they have in the, uh, they have moon in the sign of Aries, the first sign or the first nakshatra that is going to get activated when the moon will start for the first three years and four months. It's about since she has started in two, I think it's a she, I'm assuming. So I'm not displaying the names of the people, right? So you will just have to analyze that if it's a, it is your chart. I, I have actually taken the charts of the people who have commented on the post that I have mentioned to obtain the charts on uh, YouTube, okay? So in 2020, 2019, Moon Mahadasha started to three years. It was 2020, 21, 22. So till 2022, mid, you know, 2022, May, 
it was the first tribhagi for them which was actually the sign of taurus and the nakshatra of rohini so saturn came into the first house for this time apart from whatever things were happening around because of moon being in the 8th house and getting activated as a part of moon mahadasha suddenly this person has become very practical very practical and also the interest into luxury would have been there you know saturn being in the second house means that you want to possess long term investments you want to take long term term decisions when it's about finances you become a holder of wealth so you start thinking towards it so when this person back in 2019 till 2022 uh, may this person had their focus about accumulating wealth about how to stabilize their future somehow they just had you know um, fears about future they had fear about their health because it's the first house you know saturn is coming into the first house now the, this person is going to behave like a taurus ascendant a person who is afraid what will come next so they want to pre plan everything that's what taurus individuals do they want to have security this person would be very criticizing and very judgmental about people why because during this 3 3.5 years almost 3.5 years this person is going to up obtain that knowledge of how what is around the world what practicality is and their relationship would haven't you know would have not been the best why because their seventh lord has gone into the eighth house uh, and it's mars and ketu conjunction so this person has been into relationships which were very toxic and which were not uh, fulfilling emotionally rather it was more that a person is you know where the other person is very absent they are very much concerned about their status and their uh, uh, you know um uh, uh, their finances and would have been very dominating and would have also dominated their finances but you know that depends that if they were in a relationship or not although in moon always a person wants to be in a unionship they want to be sexually active okay and also you will you will have to see where the dasha lord is from these tribhagi ascendants so her dasha lord is going into the 12th house i think i need to confirm it's if it is her or him i think it's him so who say whosoever this person is uh, i actually didn't uh, consider the like you know writing male or female so i'm going to address it as her please oh i'm apologizing for that for that in advance okay so since the moon is going 12th from the tribhagi that means in the three ascendants in the three durations the moon is going to be in the moksha houses so moon mahadasha is actually going to be a little heavier on their on them emotionally because this person is going to feel isolated in moon mahadasha they are going to be more in themselves they are going to be more into research work you know do following something they are passionate about also working into something or suppose if this example if this person is in school at that point of time since they are 2001 born they'll be what 18 19 20 at that moment if they are suppose in college they'll try to be you know they try to study in their hours or they'll try to wake up you know at the night studying researching about the uh, particular topic they are uh, you know educating themselves into so you can expect these things now what you need to do with this moon tribhagi is first you consider the chart as a whole now you need to see where the dasha lord goes then you need to see where the dasha dasha lord's nakshatra goes so moon is in bharani so that's why the sign the planet venus is also going to get activated where it is placed that is also going to get activated so this person might buy their own uh, vehicle for the very first time in this particular time period or they would just want to have some sort of luxury they want to buy some they want to possess some luxury at this in between these years 
okay and it also activate activates the first house why because it is ruled by venus so first and sixth house also gets activated that means um the, uh, the this person is going towards the fourth house and the sixth uh, house matters are also going to, uh, towards the fourth house. There would have been some uh, health issues with the mother or there would have been some conflicts that they have to deal with, the, you know, that mother has to deal with. But they will feel very uh, much, you know, devoted towards relationships in this particular Tribhagi in these three years and four months. And also, of course, since the third lot is going into the 12th house, that shows that there could be a significant travel also for this individual or there would have been multiple travels for this individual for those three years and four months. Okay, so this is actually very, very short analysis that I'm giving you. Although Tribhagi, you know, we can know n number of predictions through Tribhagi. And these might not be visible through your ascended. It is visible only through Trabhagi. It might not be that visible through your Mahatasha analysis. And then for those three years, see 2019, 20, 21, 22, all these uh, Antardashas were getting activated. So after the analysis of moon, you have to analyze where Jupiter goes. So you'll give, so for moon Jupiter period, you have to give the predictions for moon Jupiter. You know, Jupiter is coming into the second house and the nakshatra lord of Jupiter is Punarvasu. It, it's an, an old nakshatra, right? And it is the lord of the eighth house and it is the lord of the eleventh house. So there might be some gains through insurance money or there might be some gains through, you know, inheritance or secretive sources. And this would have been the very good time in terms of finances, but there would have been financial responsibility also. So that's how you are going to add up n number of predictions, right? So suppose if a person is asking you, what is my prediction for moon and Mars? So first, what you'll do is you'll go to the ascendant. Then you'll predict through moon and Mars. Moon is in the 8th house. It is the lord of the 11th house. And Mars is in the 4th house. And it is the lord of the 3rd and the 8th house. Right? So you'll give the predictions for this whole scenario. Moon and Mars period wouldn't have been the best for them. Although they might have traveled at that point of time. But it wouldn't have been uh, the best when it's about their home environment. There would have been fights within the home. There would have been quarrels and disappointments or, you know, lack of similar opinions with the mother. So that would have been there in Moon Mahadasha. Now we know at that point of time, the Tribhagi which was going around was this. Now I'm going to look for the moon. I'm go going to look for the Mars. It is activating the 12th and 8th axis. Then the Nakshatra Lord of Moon is in the 4th and Nakshatra Lord of and Mars is also in the fourth and it is activating which houses we discussed first and sixth. So that's how you predict in a Tribhagi. So it's like it's layers. You peel the layers of the onion and you get so many layers. You get so many predictions. That is what Tribhagi is about. Then after 3.4 years, the other Tribhagi is going to get activated, which is going to be the next one, which is their original ascendant, the sign of Virgo. From here, moon is going into the eighth. Major transformation emotionally. Now, how do we calculate it? It is going from May 2022 till 2000, uh, you know, 2023, 24, 25. And plus four. So it will be 2025 September. So right now they are going through the second Tribhagi. And that is the ascendant of Virgo. Suddenly they'll develop the sense of managing finances and being at service. Although it was not the same. It was not the same when it was Taurus. It was different. Why? Because they had Saturn in the ascendant. They wanted to secure everyone they love. They wanted to secure their life. But they were not at that much at service. They were very practical about whether they should be at service or not. But now, since Sun is in the first house, critical judgment. 
very critical uh, analytical thinking pattern they'll have for this particular time, the time I discussed, the second Tribhagi. Moon goes into the eighth house. Emotions can be a lot heavier here. Because when moon is in the 12th house, you are lost in your own space. Maybe you don't care much about things happening in the surroundings. But when moon is in the 8th, you are going to get, you know, emotions are going to get heavier on you. Because you'll start obsessing over things. You'll think one thing twice, thrice. And then the eighth lord, you know, the moon is in the nakshatra of Bharini. It is going into the twelfth house. So eighth house and twelfth house is getting activated. There can be losses, sudden losses of money or sudden expenditure of money. And during this time, moon, uh, moon Saturn is activated. Some part of moon Jupiter is also activated. Moon Saturn, moon Mercury. Yeah, some part of moon Mercury. Till then, it will be there. So when it is moon Saturn, suppose. Saturn is second from moon. Undoubtedly, it can be a good time financially for them. Because Saturn is in the ninth house. And moon is in the eighth house. Saturn is second from moon. And it rules the fifth and the sixth houses. This person might decide to travel overseas for education. Also, this person, maybe they want to just, uh, you know, gain education from distant land. Maybe they are not traveling physically, but they want to gain education from a distant land. Then Saturn is again in the nakshatra of Rohini. So you see, uh, it's, it's, it's actually activating moon. So you see, for this person in the moon Mahadasha, moon and Venus is getting activated highly. Why? Because moon is the Mahadasha. Venus is the nakshatra lord of the Mahadasha. Then it is mostly activating the houses also. So with this, with this Tribhagi, you'll know that the, this person's 8th house, 12th house is highly activated. Apart from this, the 11th lord goes into the 8th house. That means these people can have secretive friends at this point of time. There could be secret encounters with friends. There could be secret gains. They can do, their mind will suddenly start going towards things where they can gain recognition or fame by doing something very unpredictable. Okay? Because their mind is going into the hidden depths. At this time, this person is going to, you know, make the analysis of the situations way more accurately than anyone else would. And also they have sun in the uh, first house. They would demand respect. They would demand attention. And you'll see they are suddenly, they'll suddenly become very bold with their personality, but very criticizing with a boldness. Right? That's a part of Tribhagi that you'll see. Now the last Tribhagi, which is going to cover the remaining Mahadashas for this individual, some part of Moon and Mercury, then Moon Ketu, Moon Venus, Moon Sun. Then this person is going to suddenly transform into a Capricorn Ascendant. Very practical, distant, a little bit cold. But the first Lord is going into the fifth house. That's a positive thing because the Trikona Lord is going into the Trikona house. Okay. Then moon from here goes into the fourth house. A very comfortable moon. Wants to be at home. Wants to be near the mother, near the people they love wants to be in their own space, is going to beautify their home. Also in the first Tribhagi, they will find this urge to beautify their car, beautify their home and make it look like a very royal, very beautiful looking place. And similarly, they might be, you know, they might do exercises in their home. It, the, in this particular Tribhagi, because it is an Aries moon, this person wants to indulge into 
activities. They'll become active within their home. They'll suddenly develop interest in cooking. Although this person already will have it, but uh, at this Trubhagi and in the, you know, uh, Mahadasha of Moon, they will develop it. Then there's Mercury in the 10th. There will be ups and downs with career because this person will all will try to think a lot about different uh, ways of, in, uh, of income, of how I can earn money through different sources. Suppose uh, this person is doing one job and along with that, they'll, uh, they'll just open a side business. They'll start freelancing about some talent that they have. So they'll start doing these things. And now here, since moon is the lord of the seventh house, it will come into the fourth house. This person, if they are in a relationship, they'll be very actively participating within the home and home chores. This person will be very much involved with their spouse or with their uh, significant other or with their partner within the home. It can also give anger issues if something in the home, in the home area or the home environment, if something goes off. This person can feel just um, very indifferent and they'll just, you know, lash out. Because they want everything perfect. Okay. So that's a very brief, very, I would say, very conclusive analysis of Tribhagi. Because so as to explain a Tribhagi, it takes, you know, about 60 to 90 minutes to do that. So this is like, I'm just trying to, uh, you know, uh, teach you tits and bits. So that you know what I'm talking and where I'm coming from. If you want to judge your Tribhagi, this will make it a lot easier. Now, I'll just quickly, uh, you know, take this uh, other Tribhagi also. Since I have explained how the process goes, I'm not going to explain it again for this Jupiter Tribhagi. Otherwise, it will be a very elongated video. Okay. So, for this Tribhagi, we know. So, here we know for Jupiter. So, for Jupiter, air and water sign becomes active. Air sign becomes active for four years and for water signs, they become active for one year and four months. Okay, so first of all, we'll refer to the air sign. So this person has actually started with the Jupiter Mahatasha like four years ago in 2020. So first four years have gone. They would have had, where is their moon? Their moon is in the earth sign. So they would have had behaved like this, behaved like a Libra personality for the first four years of Jupiter. So Jupiter is going into Artha houses for this individual. We know what Jupiter is. We are going to add on all the qualities of Jupiter Mahadasha. Jupiter Mahadasha, it's all about teaching, like receiving lessons. It's about celebrations. It's about, you know, um, taking on responsibility of everything. It's about taking on responsibility of guiding people. It's about... Um, you know, it's about the souls depart from your life. It's about being heavy on the other people, having a very firm personality like a guru. It's about teaching, preaching and everything like that. Right? So for this individual, first from the ascendant, you are going to judge that the fifth house gets activated. And the, it's the Lord of the second and the fifth. So second and fifth house highly gets activated in the Jupiter Mahadasha. Definitely they are going to get married since it is their Dharakarka. Right. And if not marriage, marriage will definitely happen. But, you know, we need to uh, uh, see four Mahadashas and then we need to see the transits and then we need to see uh, everything so as to understand that when it is going to be. But Jupiter is very much about the seventh house matters for them because it activates the Dharakarka. It's the house of partnership. It's the planet of partnership. So it will, they will have partnerships. They will have relationships. They will have marriage within this Jupiter. So second and fifth Lord also gets activated. That means that they can have earnings through investments also. Okay, then it is in Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra, which is the Nakshatra of Jupiter itself. 
So again, two and five gets highly activated. Now, just by the Mahadasha, you just know this thing. You don't know anything much, right? And for first four years, what happened was Jupiter, Jupiter and Jupiter, Saturn was getting activated. So Jupiter, Jupiter, so it's just about the fifth house and second house matters. Then Jupiter, Saturn came in. Saturn is about the third, fourth, sixth. It would have been about the job. Saturn in the sixth. Struggle, hard work towards the job. Saturn is debilitated. It's the Gnati Karka. It would have been a struggling period. But this person has worked, worked, worked like a workaholic person. And this Saturn Venus is going to bless them when it's about their job, when it's about their career success. Because their mind is very much about gaining, evaluating finances. Although this person is also a philanthropist person, they, they can't see anyone in pain. So they always want to help other people. So what happened for the first four years, and this first four years was actually still 13th of May. It's actually, you know, what, three days from now. So they would have behaved like a person who is very body conscious. You know, one thing apart from the moon Trabhagi, you can also judge the moon, where moon goes from these Trabhagis. That is going to tell you the emotional state for you. Okay? So if moon is going into the Artha houses, your focus in the Trabhagis is going to be about the finances. If the Dasha Lord goes into the Artha houses, it is going to be fi about finances. Third, then about the desires, about efforts. You know, if it goes in the third house, if it goes into the seventh house, in the eleventh house, air signs, air houses. If it is going to go into dharma houses, it is going to be about leadership roles, co-getters. So you can also see your emotional state. Because sometimes it is not necessary that every time a person is going to feel emotionally depleted in moon and Venus Mahadasha. Maybe they are feeling very, very competitive. Maybe they are feeling very good with their finances. Maybe their focus is so much on their finances and their career. They are feeling ambitious. But the other person going through Moon Mahadasha, maybe they are not feeling ambitious. Rather, they are feeling very depleted emotionally. They are suffering emotionally. So to see about the Moon placement from the Tribhagis. So for this individual, Jupiter goes into the Artha houses. Firstly, when Libra comes into the first house, a person becomes very self-conscious. They're all about relationships. They're all about partnerships. So this person, along with being very heavier on their enemies, having that wisdom, their wisdom will come from conflicts. Their wisdom will come from each and every fight that they'll have in life. Each and every conflict and each and every debate that will they will have in life. They're going to get their lessons, their teachings from there. Okay. So, here the third lord and the sixth lord is in the sixth house. It's all about... You know, being involved in the job, their efforts are going towards helping people and helping themselves, doing their job, daily life, routine work, routine repetitive work. Okay, then the second Tribhagi, and you can also see the Tribhagi's Ascendant Lord. So first Lord is going into the seven, they might have traveled overseas. There are significant chances either overseas or at a distance. Then after this, the second one, for four years, they are going to have the uh, Libra Ascendant. Then they are going to have Scorpio Ascendant for one year and four months. From here, Jupiter goes into the fifth house. That's about knowledge, dharma, investments. They would have, uh, you know, now from uh, May onwards, they would start uh, having interest into shares, speculation. Okay, and this person is might have relationship, love encounter within that this particular time. 
And again, since it is their own ascendant, they try to be secretive. There could be complications because they will interact with people who are very who have a very strong personality to deal with. It's Sun, Mars, Mercury. Their relationship might not go that well. There could be fights or fights of ego, ego clashes. Or they could just interact with people who are attention seekers who want maximum amount of attention. That's because there is Taurus dominance. And then the Lord goes into the sixth house and that's Venus in the sign of Aries. That means it's a lot about me, myself. Not the best time for relationship for one, point, uh, one year and four months from now. Till next July, most probably. No, next September. Okay, so that's their first Tribhagi actually. The second Tribhagi is going to be the sign of Aquarius and there's going to be Ketu. This is not going to be the bad time, let me tell you. It's Jupiter in the second and Ketu in the first in the sign of Aquarius. You will do very much innovations in your work. You'll get recognized for that. See, your 11th Lord is going into the second house. A lot more comfortable position at work. Although personal life can be hindered because of the home environment. Because of the environment and everything happening in the home. Mother will try to dominate you a lot. You might travel because the first Lord is going into the third. Then your moon is in the eighth, a lot of research, lot of research. This is going to be the time for these four years, probably from 2025 September till 2029 September. You're going to go towards a lot of astrologers so as to understand what is happening with me. There can be betrayals. Either in, uh, you know, marriage or in partnership. See, when I talk about betrayal, it's not just betrayal of like, you know, infidelity. It could be betrayal. Otherwise, like for this person, the Ra Rahu is in the, uh, uh, you know, 7,000 Magha. So it could be betrayal of authority. The seventh Lord goes into the second, into the fourth house in the sign of Taurus, betrayal through finances from a partnership or from partner, from a relationship partner or partner in a you know, in a business-like setting. But this person then, this person is going to overcome because this person is going to feel a lot competitive in this particular time. Howsoever challenges, uh, you know, uh, life will throw at them, they're just going to overcome that. Okay, then for another one year and uh, four uh, months from 2029 September, they are going to go towards this water sign fortunate time for this individual they are going to save more in long-term investments maybe they'll buy a home jupiter in the ascendant fortune is there moon in the seventh house very much dependent emotionally upon the marriage and upon their encounter with people first lord first house tenth lord first house good authority in their career good authority in general, you know, in their life. So that's about the other Tribhagi. Then lastly, they are going to have the Tribhagi, which is going to be Gemini Ascendant. This would be a little unstable because Gemini individuals are a bit immature and unstable. This person will suddenly develop an urge to do everything, you know, Curious about doing everything. Although that's very opposite trait of being in a Mahatasha of Jupiter. That's opposite trait of being a Jupiter. So this person wants to spread information. This person wants to be involved in n number of things. The Ascendant Lord goes into the 12, 12th house. Again, travel. Or just being, you know, in moksha houses also mean that you are being involved into research work in your private space like right now what I'm doing okay then Jupiter is in the 10th house now this person after going through everything this person is going to become very practical with their career 
and at their workspace. They're going to teach a lot of people about how to work, how to be a successful person. Saturn and Venus in the 11th, excellent. Excellent about recognition. So, you know, their third Tribhagi, by the end of their Jupiter, they are going to gain good recognition in life. They'll use different means to be at the top. Then Jupiter activates the 7th and the 10th. The partner, the spouse will have the authority. The spouse will, they can have a partnership business with the spouse. Okay. And lastly, they are going to go into the Cancer Ascendant. Rahu in the second house. All what they have accumulated in Jupiter, at the end of Jupiter, they would want to spend in a very royal manner. Maybe want to make, renovate their house. Jupiter is in the ninth. Travels, writing and publishing. Since moon is in the third and Jupiter is in the ninth. Writing, publishing, novel maybe. Or writing stories, be, being a storyteller. Telling people their success and their, uh, you know, failure stories so as to encourage them. A lot of encounters with social, uh, you know, circle. They'll still be working by the end of their Jupiter because of Saturn being here ten, in the 10th house. They'll be emotionally manipulative because of, you know, having uh, cancer as the ascendant. Okay, so that's again a very conclusive analysis for this person about the Jupiter Mahadasha. Along with the fundamental predictions, this is going to be how their Jupiter Mahadasha will go with three different Tribhagis. Actually, for them, it's not just three ascendants, it's six ascendants, you know, coming uh, in the light at different times. So I'm going to end this video here only. And uh, next, in the next video, I'll come up with Ketu Mahadasha, then Rahu, and I think lastly, it's uh, Venus. I'll try to quote an example of Saturn. If you know any one of you has is going through Saturn Mahadasha, just do comment in the video below so that it's it's easier for me to take an example of Saturn Mahadasha. But guys, this was my analysis about the Tribhagi. These were the examples. I hope this will be helpful. I'll come up with the next video with the remaining examples. Okay. So see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care. All the very best. And let's not forget, if you want your personal readings from me, you can check out the link below www.unmoleastrology.com and under the reading section, you can book a personal reading for yourself. Okay. And if you want to have Tribhagi analysis reading, you can refer to the unique reading section and book a Tribhagi reading for yourself. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care.